bonking and all sorts of fun bowling pin sound effects. Just kidding. Today we're going to be doing a bowling pin collection review. Alrighty, for our first bowling pin, I would like to start with this Brunswick Cosmic Pin. Neon green. Cosmic bowling. It's in mint condition. This is what it sounds like. And to complement that, I'd like to show you my neon orange version of the pin. It's a little different. It says Brunswick Max on it. ABC approved, by the way. WIBC, ABC approved. really nice pin. I actually have two right now. This one, the second one that I have, they're both brand new by the way. The second one right here is actually going to go to ICA. This Cubica AMF Amphlite bowling pin, neon green. Really cool. Not brand new, but it's in good condition. And here's some of the plastic is separating from the body. And the other pin he sent me was my very first Brunswick Max a uh, glow bowling pin here, stripe, with the old logo, USB-C approved, decent condition as well. This one's losing its sound, sounds like a twister pin, but cool. This one I got from FNAF Mingle Fox. This is a, one of the Brunswick Max, the newer ones, uh, the neon red pins that they have for the red pin bowling game they do. It's not, it's a uh, used, but it's in good condition. Still got life to it. And this one, I'm not sure what pin this is. It doesn't have a brand on it. I'm not sure if it was just spray painted. I don't think it was because the base is pretty clean. Um, someone on the bowling group chat on Facebook said that it was like an Amplite 1. I don't know much about that bowling pin, but it's still a really cool find. Sounds like the Brunswick Max ABC approved. Good condition. My first twister pin. Very cool. I've never actually had a twister pin before, so I think this is really cool. Um, just to look around at this pin, the base looks completely different from a wooden pin. Obviously sounds much different. But overall, it's a really cool pin. I prefer wood pins personally, if you guys were wondering, but Thought it'd be pretty cool to have in the collection. There, there's a twister pin. Next up, this one's pretty cool. This is my Voltex 2 ABC WB IBC approved bowling pin. In pretty good condition, actually. It's not. It's used, but not. Terribly bad at all. Let me move this over. It sounds like this. 
like the Brunswick Max. Yeah, really cool pin. This is a non-glow, I believe. So this one was from FNAF. A lot of a lot of my uh, Brunswick pins are from FNAF, by the way. Um, this is a Max old USB-C approved glow pin with a crown. Good condition. This one is a brand new Max Crown Glow. Uh, USB-C approved with the new logo. This is a brand new pin, which is pretty cool. Really nice. Next up, you guys uh, seen this pin before. This is my Brunswick Max USB-C approved, the old logo by the way, non-glow crown pin. This one I got from Global, and I actually mark on the base where I get them, if I got them from a specific center. This is Global. Got this one a couple, quite a, quite a while ago, back in high school. Next up, this Brunswick Max USB-C approved old logo stripe non-glow bowling pin right here. This one is really cool. This one's got a nice story. I got this one from Elk Grove Bowl um, just before Christmas. And um, the re I, this is before I even found out that they were closing. Um, I had asked the mechanic if... Uh, they had extra bowling pins. I could like if I could take home a bowling pin, and they just gave it to me. It, like they said, it was on the house. It's you know, Merry Christmas. So this one has a happy memory to it. I believe this actually might have been if you saw my Elk Grove Bowl video, um, my very first review video. Um, this might have been that pin that was lodged upside down in the pit. This might have been that one pin. It's a really nice pin. It's in, it, it could use a cleaning, but it's got it's still got life to it. Max. This one's a fun one. This is an ABC WIBC approved Brunswick Max non-glow stripe. This one I got from Lakeside Lanes. Um, before they changed over to their Amphlites that they have today, they used to have these old vintage Brunswick Max pins which were really cool. If you watch some of my really old videos back when I first started the channel, you'll see me bowling on these. I kind of wish they still had them because these things are awesome. So that's my lakeside pin. I think that's it for my max pin. So I have, actually have, I have another one right here. This one's from FNAF as well. It's another one of the UV crowns, the new logo. This one's not brand new though. Good condition. There's also one more back here holding up the, the wall. So this one I got at Vegas, brand new. The 2022 Open Championship pin. I'm kind of regretting not getting the clear coat one because I don't have one like that. So maybe next time I do the, the event, I'll get the clear coat one for that year. Um, nevertheless, it's still pretty cool. Sounds like an Amphlite. Here is my main event pin, the only one I have. A happy birthday one. Brand new, good condition. Sounds like an Amplite as well. Right here we have another pin from FNAF Mingle Fox. This is my, actually my very second Score King I ever owned. This is a, a Glow Crown one with the old logo. In pretty good condition. Still got life to it. Really cool. We have another pin from Elk Grove Bowl. Um, this one is a Brunswick Score King uh, Glow UV Stripe pin with the old logo. It's still got a little life to it. It's really dirty, but it's still a really cool pin because these are pretty pretty rare, or especially around my parts. Um, funny thing is, I actually used to have two of these because I picked up a second one for FNAF for a trade, 
but it got lost in the mail, unfortunately, which really sucks. Sorry, FNAF. Moving on, we have this AMF tournament pin, ABC approved. It's got the old ABC uh, logo in the back here, the eagle. This is actually one of the very first bowling pins I've ever owned in my entire life. Um, as you can see, I had it signed by Dick Richter himself. He was uh, the instructor at a bowling camp in Janesville that I participated in when I was learning how to bowl. I figured it was appropriate because he was a professional back in the, I guess, the day when they used these pins. So, really cool. Alright, moving on. We got our very basic Amflight 2 Cubica AMF. Old logo USB-C approved, brand new. Um, this I actually got online. Really cool, so I have more of these. To complement the Amflight, I have another one right here. This one is actually from Cardinal Lanes. Where I, this is the bowling center I actually learned how to bowl in, but they tore it down in 2018. Um, which is really sad. That was a nice bowling alley. So in the base, I wrote Cardinal Lanes somewhere. There it is, Cardinal Lanes. So this pin has a lot of good memories. Yep, rest in peace, Cardinal Lanes. Next up, this is my custom painted bowling pin. I call this the Galaxy Pin, based off the painted galaxy all over the pin. We got some planets, some mo the moon. This is what it sounds like. Really nice. Now this, believe it or not, this used to be an Amflight 2 US, or Amflight 2 ABC WIBC approved glow pin before it's painted, but I do not regret painting this. Sometimes I actually take this into a lakeside lanes and I throw it in their machine and get to bowl on it. And I kind of treat it as like a red pin if we're doing the red pin bowling game. Really cool pin. Holds up well. I sprayed it with, a, I believe, either lacquer or polyurethane. So it protects the, pin, the paint on the pin here. So here we have a PBA Tour test pin. Gold pin. Mint condition. Really nice pin. Looks really nice. Put you right there. Here we have this specific logo of the pin. Brand new. I have one of the original logo ones, brand new. This is what it sounds like. Here we go. And to, uh, to complement my other gold pins here, I managed to get this one. This one's pretty rare. A Golden Voltex 2. WIBC ABC approved. Brand new as well. Or almost brand new. It's a little, I think it was just dirty, but it's in really good condition. Sounds like that. No scratches on the pin. Pretty cool. So that completes my golden pin collection. Make there the lane for you. For the rest of the pins that I have. I think I'm almost done. There we go. Let's see, what else do I have? So I have one of these Brunswick Red Crown pins. This one is from the 1986 National Championships. It's also, it's brand new. Good condition. It's got a lot of signatures on it. And to complement that, I also have another Brunswick Red Crown pin. This one is the Palace Lanes Budweiser Bowling Classics. Got the old ABC logo on the back. Also brand new. Really cool pin. I like these two. And lastly, these are the two recent ones I just got. I have, uh, let me find the other one real quick. I managed to pick up these two a uh, AMF Pinnacle pins, glow stripe pins. Well, obviously stripe. They only come in stripe. 
really cool. I, these are very hard to find, by the way. I managed to get both of these at Warhawk Alley. They just changed out their pins, so they had a bunch of leftover extra old ones that they were just going to throw out, so they let me take two of them home for free. Free of charge, which is really nice of them. I haven't wrote Warhawk Alley underneath the pins yet. Uh, speaking of the, the Score King that got lost in the mail, um, I figured I'd pick up one of these for FNAF because I felt bad for him. So this one goes to him. I plan on keeping this one because it's pretty cool. So, there you go for now. So there you have it guys, that was my bowling pin collection. At least what I have currently at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also comment down below which pin was your favorite. Whether it's the Pinnacle, the Max, the Score King, the Glow Pins. My personal favorite. I couldn't tell you, I like them all. Maybe the ones that hold a specific memory behind it, or maybe the gold pins. I don't know, they're all cool to me. Um, so yeah, comment that down below, I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, if you have any suggestions on future content I should try to create, whether it's mini bowling uh, related, or it's a specific bowling center I should visit one day, as long as I can realistically drive there. Uh, leave that in the comment section below as well, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, and I may possibly visit that center one day. So that's about it for this video. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care of yourself, and I'm out.